I have a question. Why is the reason that Michael Jackson turned white? Don't be mad at Michael Jackson! Ask me why not! Why not? You ain't asked hard enough. Why not? <laughs> Love Michael Jackson! Cause Michael Jackson is one of the confirmations that you can make a white man from a black man. <laughs> <laughs> By going and living up in the mountains, moving out of Africa, and living up there for generations and generations and generations without the sun and your melon. It can be done in a lifetime, not 600 years. Michael Jackson is not 600 years old. But Michael Jackson was an original black man, locked into a white man, and in front of everybody. Again, I ask y'all, why hasn't anybody mentioned that? And that we did create the Caucasian. His very existence is that revelation. Can you step to that? <laughs> By the way, as you know, if you wish you would have gone in that first. <laughs> like so many other things that they didn't mean to give you. That didn't make Michael Jackson a bad person. That didn't make Michael Jackson a devil. He still the same Michael Jackson. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now please explain to me how grabbing Michael Jackson or anybody's journey from black to white makes them turn into a wicked person. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Tell me that much. How did the devilish men get in there? Oh, you said Yahoo taught them devilish men. No, you didn't. You said Yahoo taught them technology, not devilish men. They're different. So how did they become devils? How do white people become devils just because they did the Michael Jackson thing? Right. <laughs> you know what? They did. Devils taught them that. Uh, they were taught us that to divide humanity. And I stand on a new principle, and I try to, that's my job, for you to bring forth to the people what blonde haired blue eyed people have ever did wounding people any harm. You can't name any of them. Why is the doctrine laid with hate for blonde haired blue eyed people when the Portuguese are your enemy, and the Romans are your enemy, and the Romans have black hair? Right. Right. Their diet are black hair. Right. The Portuguese have black hair and black eyes. But they got you one around hating blue eyed people. And hating blonde haired people. The blonde haired blue eyed devil. Misinformation. That has been living in our hearts for too long. So cunningly slid in there. And so that we would not see that Master Barack Muhammad looked more Italian. He looked a little more Roman, a little more Portuguese than he does so called devil. Now, his mother was a devil. What kind of devil was she? Was she a brown hair, blue eyed devil? A red haired, green eyed devil? Auburn, gray gray, gray eyed devil? Which one? You don't know. You don't know nothing about your God. You don't know where he was born. You don't want, you don't know where he was born. Let me tell you another little secret. How are you gonna write in your own book? And you wrote it in your own book in Sunday now. That the history of Master Barack Muhammad is shrouded in mystery. And then say you don't believe in mystery God. <laughs> Muhammad's early life is shrouded in mystery. 
And I've read in the message of the black man, we don't believe in a mystery God. How you gonna do it? You with me? Why are you going to tell me not to sit around and wait for a mystery God and then tell me that Master Father Hunter left in 1934 and he's coming back from and that ain't waiting for him? How are you going to do it? Y'all are sitting around waiting for a mystery God. A man whose life is shrouded in misery and you don't know when he's coming back, but he's gone and he was here. Brother, this is the truth. Don't believe the hype. Right. 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 We got to dismantle the crap. That's, right. That's why I waited so long. Because I waited long enough for y'all to say everything y'all had to say on paper. <laughs> So when I start dancing with you, you can't retract it. You can't take back that mistake. You're not letting them let you down. Everybody knows Columbus did not discover America. Everybody knows Columbus did not discover America. Everybody knows Columbus did not discover America. So those lessons made a mistake. Not a mistake, a mistake taken out. The theology of time. Because time is in fact a thing. Because time is based on the motion of fact. Unproven. Unconfirmed. A thing. When I say factology, you say you can't make up your own word. I didn't make up my own word.
Father, they come together and make such an atomic power that they create a new thing called a deed. Which I tell y'all in red, we call a deed. Right on internet seven months ago. I said, buy it. It's the next thing under the atom. Court. <laughs> now they understand the power of the beings that are coming. And they understand that the one standing here knew something about some high science. Right. High science. <laughs> Before they knew. They went. They wanted to know why I know. They wanted to know how I know. Man talked about course, and we had course. And he mentioned bias, and they checked out to the internet. They checked all the teeth to find out did we ever say that anywhere in the public? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. said, no. Was any professor saying it? Did Einstein say it? No. Who said it? Somebody said it. One of the best kept secrets. How about Zeal? Didn't I talk about Zeal? How did he know it? Listen to me. He would have knew this weather was going to happen and he wouldn't be standing out there in the color of the water. But I, I, I told him this is a bad year for y'all. I told him. I said, This is the year of death. This is the one. And since you've been, since January to now, the media is saturated with death. And they learn to listen to their failure. <laughs> They're expecting the wrong kind of man. <laughs> They're not expecting a simple person, a down to earth person, a real person. They're looking for a preacher guy. They're looking for some reverend to come up. They're looking for them to fly out the sky. Too much TV. <laughs> and they're like a thief in the night. <laughs> Say, you ready for me? Because I got to put a stop because I know y'all selling out. Right. All the time, Islam will make you forget yourself. You can come to all the time, Islam, with a whole Puerto Rican culture, music, dress, food, and everything until you drop all of that and become a Muslim. Right, right, right. You can come to a whole Sudanese culture, a whole Haitian culture, a whole Liberian, Nigerian, Ghanaian, Native American. Chinese, Caucasian, American, Irish, Polish. It's trying to make you drop that and become a Muslim. And tell you what, I ain't got no race. I'm a Muslim. They're my race. <laughs> hey, Muslim is the one world order. Brothers and sisters, then you gotta do something. The new world order is Islam. That's why they chose Baha'i. Right. Because all those Muslim chefs over there, the rulers of all those countries, as I say to y'all in that book 2000, they nothing but we make night of the temple. Right. 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 Now let me ask you something. The most powerful people in this country are called me, so we make it. And the way they go to after the 32nd degree, they go to the ancient Arabic form of the shrine. And then they put on a bed with a star, a crescent, and a sword, as you say. All is 
Islamic symbol. Correct? Now, if the Knights of Templar become Islamic, and the Knights of Templar are the root seed of the New World Order, then who is the New World Order? It's wrong. That's why they allow it to spread all over the world. Because Islam makes you brain dead. Hey, hey. It makes your brain dead. You ever try to talk to a Muslim? They'll hold up a book by the house book. What about the cop book? You say, what about the Rabon book, fool? You know what they'll do? Turn and walk away. The brain dead. Islam makes you abuse women. You know why? Because she is a natural woman. The mother. If a mother can take care of a house, she can take care of a mother. They go, Janet, we don't there for advice. She's the mother of all that stuff. They know that. All that money is got women on. Everything they own, they call she. Anywhere the president goes, we'll find the blood. They don't call her the second lady. They call her the first lady. I've never heard them call the president the first man. First is only occupied by one person. Can't be two persons standing there. You know what I mean? In the Native American culture, it comes to the mother. In the ancient Hebrew teachings, it comes to the mother. Amongst the Sumerian, Ishtar. Amongst the Egyptian, Isis. And on, and on, and on. They know that we put our woman up, we started letting her flex her wings, as they say, that we had birds who would just take over. Hmm. They know that. And we turned them into empresses. Like the great emperor of the walking car, we bring them up there and stop putting them down, playing man. But the only reason why you gotta be insecure is because we ain't treating you right. You hear me? Then we start giving that woman that power. You see how great a nation we become. To become. Because every nation of people out there you look at, men are up front. And that's why they ain't got nowhere. Mm-hmm. But when you look back in ancient history, you find the ancient Egyptians, who did have? Hathor, Isis, these were all here had a pharaoh who, with a woman who acted like a man and ruled for 700 years. Her name is the one she died for. Hathor, her name is. Wore a beard and everything. And ran all of Egypt. And the men loud and didn't know. She did such a good job. She went, she went down the hill with time. Powerful. The woman is powerful to give her position. Give her the room. Stop trying to rule her and suppress her because it makes her feel my master. We're not succeeding. And Islam promotes brain dead. The women are bad. Correct? Anytime. Anytime you gotta write a book to tell a woman she has to cover her body. Anytime you gotta come and force that book by telling a woman you gotta cover your body. What is it saying? God is insecure about a woman overexposing her sexual part. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looked down from heaven and said, women gotta hide their bum. Don't walk too much and switch. This is going to go on. Allah noticed it. Allah noticed. Oh, there's a couple of women faces. Why not remove the malicious thought from the man? Why subject the woman to stifling her breathing? That you created the nostrils and the lungs. And the respiratory system. Why are you telling women to pop their nose and sneeze behind their nose? We were hands off the air, not those five women. And I was telling 
Don't be patient. But we ain't got none. That's just a stage. One day y'all have that barrel off. Don't worry about it. This is something you must go through. This humiliation. You got to humble you because you're too powerful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God noticed the woman's breath. And how how her boots is matchless shape when she walks. So the people around her tell women, listen, don't walk too hard with your feet in order to move your body. <laughs> that sounds like the same God I met in Genesis. <laughs> And the gold over there. And the In the midst of crazy universe, he stopped to worry about how good gold is. God was talking about stealing somebody's gold. God looked over to Ethiopia and said, And the gold, that man is good. What does God care about the gold in Ethiopia? He's creating the universe, creating the people for the planet. Heaven and earth were finished, and all the old stuff that rose. But there's a nice gold over there. <laughs> but all that confirms is that God, that they're talking about, is really the deity called Anunnaki that we're talking about, who came here for gold. It's not Rilla, or Imam, Chef, Rabbi Al-Qurani, tell us why, in the middle of the conversation, that God, Decides that the book is told. Mm-hmm. Why did God decide? Because you know there's a million bad gold. You know there's a million bad gold. Mm-hmm. God looked and noticed that that was real gold. <laughs> <laughs> My fake gold. Mm-hmm. 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 I wasn't 10 cat. I wasn't even 14 cat. Now I'm 24 cat gold. <laughs> and God knows it. Why? Tell us. Kill the other in your head. Because we told you why. Now you give us your death. Death for this. Oh, no. Make us a little more deep. Make us a little deeper than we are. Go to the definition of why God will concern with God. You can. And what we do, you can. That man don't know what he's talking about. That man's crazy. I'm gonna find a good company. The problem is, everything that they need to keep themselves brain dead is found in people. Where are they? The Torah is not the realm of the world. The NGO and the Muslim call it, or New Testament, Old Testament, and Quran. That's it. That's the extent of all from the world. And they make these books seem so great that nobody has even attempted to correct them as hard as they is. They make the books seem so great that if you dare to translate, oh, it can't be done. Well, see, Muhammad ain't did it, well, Farrakhan ain't did it, Christ ain't did it, Yahweh ain't did it, none of the none of the great preachers or reverend Raymond have done it. The last time was done it over in Pakistan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that can convince you that the book is deep. That's why I can't say, this book ain't deep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it all of them in one lifetime. Meanwhile, write another thousand books. Ain't nothing. Mm-hmm. That's what nice stuff. Mm-hmm. Abraham's ministry was Melchizedek. You better 
go back and read the Torah and find out who taught Abraham about the one deity he referred to as the most high. Now, in the new one, Abraham was on his face with his face to the feet of Hittites in the land of Shinar. Read the Bible, worshiping Caucasians. When Mount Kennedy came to him, they get up for him. <laughs> and look towards the stars. Look towards the signs of Zodiac. Look towards the sky. Look towards Orion's sky. Look towards Cyrus B, where your people came from. Most high, best out of you. El Eliu. Look up there, higher than here. Because they, they dropped your hair and they're coming back for you. Give me that old time religion. That old time religion is slavery. You know, somebody give me the old time religion. That was slave thing. And that's only one group of us. Those that came over here from what is called Africa today. And if you want to get right down to it, the word slave comes from the word slave. There is no such thing as a moral slave. Only the slaves can be slaves. You are in bondage. And like I said, that's a small group of us. In other words, the rest of us were already living here on this part of the planet. That's why it's called the best part of the planet. Earth. Because this is where it all happened. Between California and the Persian Gulf. All the way down to all the islands of the Caribbean. Oh, all of you take and cut it out and play a game and put it all back together. And the new triangle sits in the center of the lower part of all of the maximum gamma rock. The new triangle is how it charged the crack when it came here from Cyrus B. When Cyrus A collapsed. Well, we came to the Orion sky and we stopped all at Plate D and dwelled in Plate D and taught them and gave them technology and they took it over to Algebraic and Beetle Group and Regal and shared with demons the power we gave them. Wait. Just like the Freemasons. We gave them that knowledge. Woo. George Washington had our lace in a little wig. <laughs> and was it the first president, the ninth president? I'll break all that down to you one day. <laughs> Initiated in the order of the Moors by Benjamin Banner, who built the White House. Why is it called the White House? Because of the Spanish word, Casablanca. Yeah. And where did that come from? Dar de Dar, in Morocco. Because they were more. Benjamin Benjamin was a more. Have you had that name Ben? You know it was in it. And they'll talk about Benjamin Benjamin, they'll talk about the Watch the Dar, they'll talk about the Tulip, but they won't talk about the York. When all of history records, that there was a man there called Ben York that helped Louis and Clark. And if Louis and Clark failed in their mission to trick everybody by purchasing the whole country and only ended up with the 13 colonies and the feet of Louisiana and the prison house, then who do you think must have helped them trick him? Ben York. Because he was doing all the translating. Because he's the only one that spoke all the Native American languages. He spoke 19 different dialects of Native American tongues. And Lewis and Clark needed him. Go do some reading. So when you watch the child and talk, you can watch the child too. He starts talking at the Dolly Yard Ben Yard, who is known as Ibn Ali. That's why you got five names. Bay, Day, Eel, Al, and then Ali. The only one that's a noun there is Ali. The only one that's a real Arabic name is Ali. All the rest of them are definite articles of Hebrew, Eel, or El, and definite articles of Arabic, I. And Bay, and Day, and nothing but French. The only real name 
Then Right. Not to look at, but to listen to. Right. 